our topic for this session is elimination of arbitrary constants by the end of the lesson you will be able to eliminate arbitrary constants from an equation also known as a general solution to obtain the required differential equation find the differential equation from a given family of curves given the general solution we find the required differential equation taking note that the number of arbitrary constants which are non-essential is equal to the order of the differential equation so if the equation contains arbitrary constants or non-essential constants these are to be eliminated and if it contains parameters they are retained in the dif differential equation let's have example number one obtain the differential equation associated with the solution y equals a plus ln bx where a and b are constants observe that a and b are essential constants because if we try to simplify the given equation okay we can combine a plus ln of b no applying the um, the properties of logarithm here now splitting ln of bx to ln of b plus ln of x and then combine since a and ln of b are constants you can replace this by a single constant and thus your equation becomes y equals c plus ln of x and we only have one arbitrary constant and then we expect to obtain a first order differential equation so differentiating equation 2 right away will eliminate constant c okay so this gives us y prime derivative of c is 0 ln of x is 1 over x and therefore this is our required equation the first order differential equation let's have another example find the required differential equation y equals a cosine kx plus b sine kx given that k is a fixed constant okay so a and b are two non-essential constants therefore we have two arbitrary constants namely a and b and then one parameter k so we should obtain a second order differential equation so we differentiate the original equation twice to get a second order differential equation so this will be our first equation the original equation so differentiating we get y prime here derivative of cosine is negative sine then derivative of kx is k derivative of sine kx is cosine kx derivative of kx is k so this will serve as your second equation and then differentiating again will give you y double prime here derivative of sine is cosine so this now becomes k squared and then cosine is negative sine and then derivative of kx is k so you get k squared here this will be your uh, third equation now we can factor out negative k squared here okay to get negative k squared times a cosine kx plus b sine kx but take note that this quantity or expression is equal to the original equation so therefore this quantity is equal to y so we will replace this by y giving you the required differential equation eliminating a and b and then retaining the parameter k okay let's have example number three obtain a differential equation associated with y equals a a e to the 2x plus b raised to x plus c so the equation contains the arbitrary constants 
So thus, third order differential equation is required. So we differentiate the original equation three times. The first derivative will eliminate C. Okay, then differentiate again. Then this will be the third derivative. Now, eliminating A, so we, we eliminate A by multiplying equation Y by negative 2. So, we multiply this by negative 2. Take note that if we add this the, uh, multiply this but we get, we get negative 4a to the 2x no? and then if we add this to equation 2 we'll eliminate constant a the resulting equation will be negative 2y prime plus y double prime equals negative b e to the e to the x And then in a similar manner, okay, eliminate a by multiplying equation 2 by negative 2 and then add the resulting equation to equation 3. Okay, so we obtain the fifth equation. Okay, and then uh, Fourth equation and fifth equation only contains negative b. So by subtracting this equation from the equation 4, we will eliminate b and we obtain the required third order differential equation. Or in a derivative form, Okay, y, do, y triple prime is d cubed y over dx squared, y double prime is d squared y over d, dx squared, y prime is dy over dx. So, either of the two can be your final answer. Okay, let's have the last example. This is an application. Find the differential equation of the family of circles of fixed radius r with center on the x-axis. So with a fixed radius r, this will be the corresponding graph. Okay, so we consider all circles with radius r and then with center lying on the x-axis. No? So you can have several of these infinitely many circles with radius r and then whose center is at the is on the x-axis so take note that the center the automatically you know the y component of the center is zero this is your k and then you have h anywhere along the along the x-axis okay so following the properties of the circles based on the standard equation of the circle we will have x minus 8 quantity squared so your k here is 0 so you have y squared here and then you have the radius no? so r squared here and since r is a parameter this is a fixed constant we only have one arbitrary constant and therefore we expect to get a first order differential equation. So differentiating will give you 2 here, copy x minus h, so 2 minus 1 is 1, derivative of x is 1, derivative of h is 0, derivative of y squared is 2yy prime, derivative of r squared is 0. So we will have two equations here, no? containing h, both containing h. 
So maybe this we try to uh, solve for h here in terms of the other equation. Okay, we can cancel out to here. So h will be x plus y y prime okay and then try to substitute this in this equation okay to eliminate h the simplified equation will be y squared okay square root of dy over dx or just y prime quantity squared okay and then you can factor out y squared here so plus 1 na lang here equals r squared so this is the required differential equation representing this family of curves.